In today's class, we will discuss about human circulatory system. So, what is human circulatory system? So, coming to the introductory part. Human circulatory system consists of constitutes the closest type of blood vascular system and lymphatic system. So, what human circulatory system constitutes? The human circulatory system constitutes the closer type of blood vascular system and lymphatic system. As we all know that there are two types of circulatory systems, open type of circulatory system and closer type of uh, blood circulatory system. So humans have closer type of blood vascular system. What blood vascular system contains? Blood vascular system comprises heart, blood and blood vessels coming to the lymphatic system. It comprises lymph, lymphatic capillaries, lymphatic vessels, lymphatic nodes and lymphatic ducts. So what blood vascular system contains? Blood vascular system contains heart, blood and blood vessels and lymphatic system contains lymph, lymph capillaries, lymphatic vessels, lymphatic nodes and lymph ducts. So blood vessels we all know what are the blood vessels, arteries, veins and all. Coming to the human heart. What is the heart? Heart is a hollow fibrous muscular organ. Heart is a very hollow structure and it is made up of fibrous muscular muscles. Human heart is of somewhat conical or pyramidal form with upper broad part the base or the lower part is narrower and upwards which is slightly tilted towards the left so if you observe the heart the top or the broad part upper part and the lower one is very narrower and pointed towards and slightly bent towards left the size of a closed fist heart is so each fist so for every person's heart will be the size of his or her own fist when it is enclosed histologically heart consists of three layers so if you uh, see it histologically heart consists of three layers they are pericardium myocardium and endothelium or endocardium so we can see the layers of heart here what is pericardium pericardium is outermost layer smooth silomic epithelium layer it consists of smooth silomic epithelium Myocardium. Myocardium is the middle layer and it contains of thick muscular layers. So if you observe myocardium, myocardium is the middle layer and it composed of cardiac muscle fibers. Coming to endocardium or endothelium. So, what it contains? Innermost layer consisting of 
simple squamous epithelium or epithelial cells so if you see one see the layers of heart there are three they are pericardium myocardium and endocardium if you see pericardium it is made up of smooth coelomic epithelium and if you observe myocardium it is a thick layer and it is composed of cardiac muscle fibers and coming to endocardium innermost layer and consisting of simple squamous epithelial cells coming to other part, other structures of heart so if you see heart is enclosed in a double walled pericardium so what is heart enclosed in heart is enclosed in a double walled pericardium what is pericardium the layer which is covering the heart a pericardial fluid is present between the heart walls and pericardium so there is a fluid called pericardial fluid which is present between the heart wall and the pericardium and it mainly helps in protection the heart is made up of muscle cells called cardiac muscle fibers so what is heart made up of heart made is made up of muscle cells called cardiac muscle fibers heart consists of four chambers so how many chambers a heart consists of heart consists of four chambers the upper two chambers consist the right and left auricles or atria so if you see the upper portion of the heart they are called auricles so they are right and left auricles or atria in simple the lower two chambers can are formed the right and left ventricles so if you see the upper part of the heart is called auricular part and the lower part is called ventricular part auricles are divided into left and right and the left uh, ventricles are also divided into left and right ventricles further the right and left side are separated and do not communicate so if you see the heart portions right and left they are separated and they do not communicate with each other they as they do two different types of functions the right one receives deoxygenated blood and left, left one pumps oxygenated one left auricle opens into left ventricle by a left auricular ventricular aperture or structure so if you see left auricles opens into left ventricle by aperture called auricular ventricular aperture Similarly, the right auricle opens into right ventricle through right auricular ventricular aperture. So, if we see the heart, we have chambers, and it is made up of muscular organs. the chambers are divided into auricles and ventricles 